Hello, dear viewers. My name is Sid Khazifi Simhan. Today we continue our course on interpretation of results of the chemical size of oil, gas, rock, and formation of water. Today I'll show you the fourth part of the seminar whose topic is practical interpretation of carbon isotopic composition of oil, its fraction, and alkanes. The video lesson is important for geologists who are engaged in exploration of new hydrocarbon structures. In this seminar, we focus on the practical interpretation of the results obtained. Therefore, if you intend to interpret the results of this analysis yourself, I recommend watching this video till the end. This slide provides brief information about myself. I already introduced myself last time, so there is no need to repeat it again. Here is information about the structure of the course on geochemical status of oil, gas, rock and formation water. The course consists of 15 parts of this. I have already shown the previous three parts on oil. We've already demonstrated the interpretation of the results of gas chromatography, biomarker and the diamondoid analysis of oil. In this lesson, I will explain you the application of the results of the carbon isotope composition of oil and the fractions to characterize the source rock in which the oils are generated. To verify the correctness or reliability of the conclusions obtained, it is necessary to compare the results of the biomarker analysis of oil with the results of the carbon isotope composition of oil and their fractions. It should be noticed that biomarker analysis carried out at the molecular level and the isotope analysis at the atomic level. Isotopes are atoms of the same elements that have the same number of electrons and the protons but different the number of neutrons, giving them different atomic masses. In organic geochemistry, the most important isotopes are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur. As can be seen in the table, stable isotopes can be heavy or light. The abundances in nature, as percentages given in the brackets, is it is clear that light isotopes make up more than 95% of all isotopes. The names and the values of standards for each element are presented, which is used to calculate the isotope composition of the element of the sample. If you look at the periodic table, carbon has an atomic mass number of 6 and it has 2 energy levels. The first level has two electrons, the second has four electrons. Carbon has two stable isotopes, 12C and 13C. In addition, the radioactive isotope 14C can be found on this, which is formed in the upper layers of the atmosphere during nuclear reactions on the stable isotope 14. Therefore, in the nucleus of the carbon atom, there are six protons and six, seven, or eight neutrons, depending on the isotope. The light 12C isotope has six neutrons, and the heavy 13 isotope consists of seven neutrons. Natural carbon consists of two stable isotopes, which are so 12 C and 13 C. As you can see, the light isotopes makes up almost 99%, while the heavy one accounts for only more than 1%. The isotopic composition of carbon is expressed by ratio. Here, there are ratios for the sample and uh, for the standard. The isotope ratio result is presented as promile. For the sample, it has already been calculated. We use 0.011. For example, our result of the isotopic composition of carbon in the sample shows the ratio as shown as a red rectangle. 
the sign indicates that the value of the results is less than the standard. In the second example, it is the other way around. It is also necessary to take into account the terminology used in isotope geochemistry, for example, is a sample samples are isotopically lighter or slightly enriched in sutensi, this means that they are enriched in light isotopes. There are three types of carbon isotope analysis in oil and its composition. The simplest and the first approach is to study carbon isotope signature of crude oil or kerogen extract. But this analysis provides limited information since oil is not an individual compound and the isotopic composition of its total carbon carries limited information because it averages the variations in the isotopic composition of numerous hydrocarbons with different chemical histories. If you want to check for a genetic link between different oils, you can determine the isotopic composition of either four oil fractions, aliphatic aromatic fraction, asphaltine and the resin, to plot the Kalimov diagram. Or you need to conduct the isotopic composition of individual NLKs, which is the most in-depth approach to study the genetic link between different oils at the atomic level. Based on the results of isotopic composition of carbon in oil and its fractions, four parameters can be determined. Environmental condition, genetic typing, source rock H is the oil was generated from carbonate source rock based on the results of biomechanics, and uh, thermal maturity. The isotopic composition of carbon is measured using an isotope mass spectrometer, which monitors the mass of CO2 produced by burning organic matter or oil. Here is how this instrument works. After the dehydrator, the components are fed into the universal conflow interface, where they are diluted with helium to obtain a signal of the required intensity. Then they are sent to directly to the isotope mass spectrometer for analysis, we obtain such chromatograms. We can determine the environmental condition of organic matter by plotting carbon isotope values of the saturated and the aromatic fractions of oil. Based on their values, we can plot sofa plot to distinguish marine oils from terrestrial ones. This plot is based on the fact that isotopic composition of marine organic matter is heavier than terrestrial organic matter, since carbon dioxide is dissolved in water, which serves as a source of marine phytoplankton, is slightly heavier after equilibrium than atmospheric CO2, which is used by terrestrial plants. But as can be seen here, it is always necessary to compare the common isotopic results with the results of the biomarker analysis to ensure the correctness and the reliability of the conclusions of pain. For example, oils here and there fall into the zone of marine sources. For detailed information, you can scan the cure and read the published paper. For genetic typing of oil, you can use the Galimov plot for the construction of which you can you need the values of carbon isotope composition of oil and its four fractions. The point is that if they have similar values or distributions, then these oils can be deduced to be genetically genetically related. If they differ, then these oils oil samples are generated from different source rocks. For example, in 2019, we were asked whether the oils of northern Quatertas and the eastern Moldavik fields are genetically related or not. They are related, they are located very close to each other in Kimbay region. According to gas chromatography analysis, the Triassic oils of northern Quatertas were not biodegraded, while 
the Jurassic oil, or oils of eastern Moldavia were biodegraded. According to the biocomposition, they were generated from marine shale soft rock, but they, they are different. Biomarkers allow us to assume the genetic difference, which is also confirmed by the results of the carbon isotope analysis of the fractions in gallium of plot. The isotope fraction curves of the Jangatalab and the Uvacal oil samples are of the same type in the nature of distribution, but differ in the absolute values of the saturated fraction. Recently, when ca conducting oil-oil correlation, the study of isotopic composition of carbon, not only in the four fraction of oil, but also in individual NLKs of oil, has become popular. To identify possible genetic links of oil, isotope curves you can pay it. Isotope fraction curves of oil samples from Changatalab and the uh, South East Kamushutawa fields are of the same type in the nature of distribution and the values, but slightly differ, differ in absolute values. The disadvantage of this analysis is that the measurement error is up to one promile and uh, in some cases even higher. This is due to the whole range of reasons since the procedure for isolating enalkanes is very multi-stage. Isotope analysis of oil show a general tendency for the heavy carbon isotope with, to increase with the age of its source rock. The disadvantage of this plot is that it can only determine the age of carbonate source rock, distinguishing Paleozoic and the Mesozoic oils. So this plot cannot be used for oils generated from shale source rocks. Therefore, before using this plot, you should make sure that the oils under the side were generated from a carbonate source rock based on the biomechanical analysis, or not, as we did here. <coughs> the age of the source rock of oils can also be determined based on biomechanical composition of oil, as I showed you in the last lesson. The isotopic composition of kerogen is inherited from its biological sources and controls the isotopic composition of an oil generated from the kerogen. The isotopic composition of oil is generally, usually slightly lighter than the parent kerogen because 12C, 12C bonds are weaker than 13C, 12C bonds. Thus, residual kerogen becomes isotopically heavier as the generated hydrocarbons become heavier with increasing maturity of the source rock. Therefore, it is possible to determine the thermal maturity of the oil. This is our final slide. Here it is presented that what analysis determines such genetic parameters. Uh, so here also our practical task. As you can see, you can construct graphs of the isotope composition of oil, uh, its fractions. If you are interested, you can um, scan the QR and uh, read the, my publications related to this topic. Thank you for your attention.